How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday night. Finally made it to the weekend out here. Hope everyone's having a good evening. 10.09 p.m. That's California time here. May 9th, 2025 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 2.8 uh, hiding down here across the Java Trench. The latest quake there on the globe in the green flag. Also some movement north here of New Zealand. Five-pointer stirring up earlier today and a more recent deeper 3.4 earthquake across the area of the North Island region there shown up on the on the uh, GeoNet servers uh, northern end of the Hikarangi subduction zone so let's go ahead and check out California here real quick see what we got going on uh, across the area got a pretty good decent uh, swarm going on across the Ridgecrest area that uh, earthquake activity stirring up today Got uh, nothing above 2.5, aside from uh, earthquake around Mammoth Lakes, 2.6 there. Most of all of this activity here, uh, generally small microquake activity. Even some movement there across the Malibu Coast Fault. Uh, further into Northern California here, a couple earthquakes throughout the day today. I'm betting we got some trimmer activity stirring up there. So let's see what we have for trimmer activity. Uh, wow, that's a decent amount. 387 episodes of trimmer that's a uh, definitely an uptick there across the southern end of the Cascadia a little bit up north around the Seattle area as well this is not volcanic trimmer but trimmer occurring uh, into the deeper areas of the Cascadia subduction zone so that is on the move right now a lot of pressurization going on here mainly across the southern end though a couple different areas uh, nothing far as significant earthquake activity going on, but got to remember when that tremor activity occurs, we're looking at uh, uh, elevated strain occurring across that locked area. Uh, one earthquake up here, uh, that one's actually somewhat deep, 21 miles deep there for that earthquake off the coast of Washington. That may have something to do here uh, with the... Uh, yeah, that would kind of match that tremor activity there, right? So we got tremor activity there underneath Tacoma and Seattle area with earthquake activity occurring due west, upstream from that deeper activity. So the deeper activity occurring underneath this area, about 35, 45 kilometers. Uh, this earthquake activity right here occurring upstream uh, towards a locked area. So we're gaining a little bit of momentum there across the area of the Cascadia. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up there on the map, but let's uh, double check that, make sure we got the right data here. Not a whole lot, pretty quiet out there across the board there for Yellowstone. Uh, Texas oil fields still getting hit. One earthquake out here outside of OKC area, a little 2.8. Uh, this region of Oklahoma may be inhabited there with a bunch of residential neighborhoods. Let's see what we got. Um... Not really, but uh, if you look here on the terrain map, it's got a lot of wording out here uh, with a, a bunch of oil fields out here across this area of Oklahoma. So, got some movement out there. It seems like when the oil fields start stirring up out here across the area, such as what we've seen there in the Ohio area a couple days ago, uh, it means the North American plate is on the move. New Madrid seismic zone, a little two-pointer early this morning. So far as the world view goes here, a lot, a lot of activity scattered out and about across the area. Uh, the largest magnitude here today uh, is going to go to a 5.3 earthquake uh, across the uh, Indonesia area. Not a big earthquake at all. That's actually somewhat of a moderate quake there for, for any given 24-hour period. Um, so we'll kind of watch things, see how it goes. Um, definitely some broad scale activity taking place out here. A lot of deeper movement into the Fiji Islands area. Well, to the, I it should say the Tonga Trench here where that pair of deep earth earthquakes struck. Uh, 2.8 across Indonesia. The Nankai Trough remains quiet. But we got activity occurring all around it here recently. But watch that subduction zone, folks. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on that pretty closely. 
Uh, the Mediterranean area, a couple twos and threes scattered out and about. Nothing major going on. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. And uh, the Peru Chile Trench out here. Got a four-pointer, it looks like. Let's see what we got here. Uh, actually, it's a five-pointer along the Peru area, 16 miles deep there into that subduction zone. Nothing uh, spectacular going on there now, but things can change, so watch that closely. Uh, I wish I could say things are changing across the board for flaring activity but look at this the visible disc will uh, look fairly absent of sunspot activity here rather soon 4079 here is just about ready to eclipse there across the western limb of the sun here's the current imagery of that sunspot it's been a massive area that's been facing the earth here recently but it, it's you know it doesn't matter if it's a hundred times bigger than this doesn't mean that we're going to get any flaring you have to have magnetic complexity within that sunspot area to produce some stronger flares, and it just didn't do it. So see you later there, 4079. The rest of these sunspots out here, very quiet as well. The flare threat will continue to drop like a rock um, with uh, very minimal flare threats at that. As uh, far as the far side of the sun, well, let's see what we got here. This was put out today. Here's 4079. Um, maybe an area back here across the far eastern. Here's the eastern limb, right? These sunspots will be coming in this general direction here over the coming days. But that doesn't look like much. But then again, uh, we'll have to watch and see here in the coming days. But uh, entering into a very B flare type of scenario, boring category. A little bit of uptick here this evening with the Aurora activity, but didn't quite make it up to the G1 class storm. That should continue to dwindle down, and the uh, the Aurora activity continuing to die off throughout the evening. Uh, storm Prediction Center. Storm Prediction Center for severe weather. Not a whole lot of severe weather threats out here, and that is probably good news for the folks that have been dealing with this activity uh, for quite a while. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Let me double check the. Um, oh, we lost a couple seismograph stations out there. A lot of the uh, plate boundary station. Uh, plate boundary stations. It looks like. Uh, hopefully they come back. I'm sure they will. They uh, they, they they tend to come back. If not, then we'll reset those in the morning. But. Uh, Look at this earthquake off here, way off the plate boundary. That's a rather odd one, a little 1 1.6. Let me see here. It's underneath automatic status, so it has not been reviewed, but that's a that's an odd one. We don't normally see earthquake activity way off here like that. But uh, keep an eye here. West Coast got the Cascadia moving up north. Southern California here has been active. Anything can happen at any given time, folks. I'm just here to provide the data and uh, what I observe and report on it. So hope everyone has a good Friday night. Please stay safe and we will catch you guys out here for the Saturday morning update.